Hello. Am I on? My phone, mic's not on. Hello. Hello. There it is. Now my mic is on. Sorry so much for that delay. Well, we're just muddling through here today on healthy aging. We are without James, which he is um, out today. So we are going to going to wing it on here without his sense of humor and his fun and we miss him and he should be back next week for healthy aging. So one of the things we're going to look at today, this is Barbara James, owner of Lake Nutrition Center at 1112 Bachara Boulevard. And oh, by the way, Q family, I now am uploading these videos on YouTube. So you could look at them under Ageless Ways longer days because we're looking at our lifestyle more agelessly when we say we're aging it means we have an infinite end which we do here on earth but we want to start looking further out how that if we look at we're that we're ageless we're going to change the things that we do if we know that our body's going to go another 10 20 30 40 50 years have I spoken before? We have hundred year olds that walk in the store and they are not giving in and they just keep going. So the YouTube channel is called Ageless Ways Longer Days. So you could catch these videos if you missed the show. Just go to YouTube and please like and subscribe. That would be really uh, helpful to move the, the videos out to other people. So did you have a good Thanksgiving? You're not on. Your mic isn't on. There you go. Well, no, I just ate everything inside. And it's funny because I eat a mostly plant-based diet, except I, I don't know, for whatever reason, turkey is my thing. Like I love a fresh cooked turkey. And it's odd too, because I don't eat leftovers, but a fresh cooked turkey leftover is my favorite thing to eat. No, I don't make turkey soup. Yeah. Chicken soup, but not, but not, not turkey soup. White, yeah, white meat. And then I pick at everything else, you know, around. Because, you know, I have this rule that at Thanksgiving or holidays, if you're standing up and eating, it has no calories. Yeah. So I just stand up and eat, um, and then I sit down and eat. So when I sit down and eat, those are the calories. I don't count the others. So, yes. So what I want to talk about today, at least in the first segment, is how do we manage our weight during this holiday season? Because it's so easy for us to automatically i think the average person puts on eight to ten pounds between thanksgiving and new year's eve so what do we what could we do to just help us in that realm and if you have any questions you could call us at 352-315-1410 and we can answer your questions here about um how does how do we stay healthy during the holidays what could we do so one of the things, as you know, I've lost a lot of weight in my life. I've gained a lot of weight in my life. And one of the things that worked for me that you could do during the holidays is just pick one thing to stop eating. So if your favorite thing, and it doesn't even actually, it doesn't have to be your favorite, but if one of the things is to, um, you like chips or you're a candy eater, you like to eat a piece of chocolate, those types of things. Just give it up between now and New Year's Eve and you will be surprised by just one thing what a difference you could make in your body. So try that. Try just giving up one thing and here's how it works because your brain has been programmed. So part of, as you know, I go to the University of Florida's College of Medicine I am studying to be a gerontologist and I have one more semester to go, although I have a big final coming up in um, medical cardiophysiology. So I've done nothing but study the heart all semester long in deep detail. So we'll see how that goes. But next semester, I have one more semester to go and then I'll be your local gerontologist. And what does a gerontologist do? But we are scientists that study 
the aging body. So that's why I could come to you and at you uh, and speak with you at a different perspective than, and I'm also a certified nutrition coach. So I take those two things and I could speak to you differently from a perspective, and I'm old, so as I age, um, you know, I, I am also doing these same things. So if you pick one thing a month and just not have it, you deny yourself of that thing, what happens to your brain is your brain stops craving it. So when we eat, our brain triggers, uh, it's all electrical neurons and it shoots out hormones and those hormones, no matter what you're eating, basically tell your body that I have a good feeling sensation. So it, it spews out dopamine and serotonin, which many of you have heard before. Those are the feel good hormones. They make you feel good. And that will happen. So our body remembers, our brains remember that. And that's why we have these cravings for certain foods because our brain is telling us that we need that in it. Give it up for 30 days and your brain reprograms. And then your brain decides that that thing, that item, those chips, that ice cream, um, the soda, the drive through whatever triggers you, or your brain will just be untriggered. I don't, that's probably not a word, but um, your brain will stop craving that. And the neurons in your brain won't be triggering at that satisfaction level. So it's important when I say give up one thing, it's, it's for other reasons, so that your brain responds differently. That's not gonna just help you get through the season, but it will also help you get through the rest of your life. So if you're gonna start somewhere, and we'll talk about resolutions and things um, as we move forward, but if you're thinking about a New Year's resolution, you're already there. You already gave up the chips. And it, it's very easy to give up one thing when you're not denying yourself other things. So I never deny myself anything now, but when you give something up and you don't deny yourself, then you don't feel like you gave up anything. It's not a big deal. But when we try and jump all in, it's after Thanksgiving, we put on, I put on three pounds at Thanksgiving time. And it's after Thanksgiving and we're thinking, oh gosh, you know, what do I do now? But you could do make this one change and you're already ahead for New Year's when you really want to cut and stop and exercise more. So that leads me into a second tip for you is just move, 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 move. We've talked about this before, but now that you've had Thanksgiving and like me, you put on three pounds just because of the turkey and the cheesecake and the accoutrements. I mean, oh my goodness, Thanksgiving was fun and the cheesecake was amazing. So just move, move your body every day, 10 minutes after you eat, empty the dishwasher, um, fold the clothes, walk around the house, up and down stairs if you have them. It doesn't have to be fancy, you don't have to look pretty doing it. Some of the other things that you wanna do, you have to recognize that when you put food in your body, food calories, are called energy. That's what it is, it's energy. Actually in other companies, uh, other countries, when they you see their nutrition label, it actually says energy. It doesn't say calories. And somehow when you read that word energy, it equates to I am putting energy into my body. Fuel, no different than if you were gonna fuel your car. And you fuel your car with gasoline and if you don't put gasoline and you put water or other things in your gas tank, you're not gonna have the same outcome as if you put gasoline in your car. So remember, every bit of food you put is energy for your body. It fuels your body to make your body work. Some of the other things you could look at is watch your alcohol intake. Alcohol is useless calories, does a lot of nasty things. We've talked about that I, uh, to your body. So some of the alternatives, you know, I had a woman come in this store, oh, and you'll have to wait for that story after the break. So thank you so much and come back and we'll learn more tips and tricks on how to stay our healthiest during the holidays. <music> 